Okay. Well, thank you, Amy, for inviting me into your studio. Um, so we're getting just a few hours away from Art of Real uh, kicking off. Always a great, fun weekend in Northeast. Um, starting out, can you talk a little bit about some current work that you're doing? Yeah, um, so last fall, my boyfriend and I bought some property in Northern Minnesota, and um, one of the things that really excited me was all the different plant life on it. So I've made a goal to make prints of every single species of plant on our property, and it'll probably take me my whole life. Um, but I, I've started and I have some of those um, available for Art World Weekend that people can look at. So um, that's been kind of exciting for me. And then in addition to that, we're, we're building a little campsite and I've um, made um, all sorts of like pillows and blankets, but I've hand carved linoleum block prints of, and, and, and stamped. Um. Pumpkin. Pumpkin wants to be in the video. Pumpkin, come on, come here. Why don't you just sit down and, and, and relax while we do this? <laughs> um, so, uh, so that's something that I've been working on. That that's been pretty exciting to me. And then, um, as I've been as I've been printing, I had leftover ink, so I printed on T-shirts. And so. Um, I have uh, t-shirts available at Art World too, which will be the only time they're ever available. I'll oh never, my gosh, I'll, I'll never do them again. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, that, so that's been kind of fun. Um, that's another thing that I've been working on. Um, last year, um, about this time of year, I had a book published, um, and it was a how-to stencil book. And I enjoyed writing the how-to part so much that I've done a how-to for a national magazine recently, and I'm really looking forward to doing more um, uh, tutorials and having them be available. Oh, that's nice. So other people can yeah. attempt to, yeah. to do some projects as well. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about your creative process? I feel like your your artwork is so unique and so distinctive. Um, Talk a little bit about what what that process is like. For well, you. I, I like kind of like the the property and the and the the prints of the the plants. I just whatever is happening in my life is what I'm excited about. When I got my new puppy pumpkin, the, all the artwork for six to eight months was about pumpkin. And <laughs> now I yeah. feel like all the art I do will probably be about buying property and gardening and. Um, and, and that part of my life. So it's just really what what is exciting about my life turns into art. Although sometimes I also get really excited about processes. Like if I buy a new, like I bought a new letterpress machine, an antique letterpress machine a few years ago. And then, so now I'm really excited about letterpress and other people's letterpress and expanding into that a little more. Um, so yeah, I'm, I, I guess I'm really inspired about what is happening in my day-to-day -day life. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, how long have you been part of Art of World? Because this is what, this is the 19th mm -hmm. year, is that correct? I was thinking about that this <laughs> morning, and in, I, I want to say 2002, um, around that time, I was invited to partake in a garage art rummage sale in someone's backyard here in Northeast, and I mm -hmm. did it, and it was really fun. Um, and the Art of World, the NEMA folks came and they scolded us because we hadn't paid, you know, and we didn't know. We were, you know, we should have, we didn't know. Um, so we were without like a real Art of World on the side. <laughs> Yeah, we just didn't know. So I, I'm a I'm a NEMA member now. I paid my dues for years. So you're official. <laughs> I'm official. I made up for that. But that was my first experience. And then I've been invited. I was invited to be in other people's studio guests for many years. Karen Jacobson invited me for a year, and Sean Tubridy invited me for a year. And then when I got my own studio in Northeast, and have, and so I think this is my fourth year in this studio, and I think I had three in my previous studio. And what's your take on how it's evolved? It's become such a big thing, and then mm -hmm. there's a lot of music and other events that I think it's take great. Place. I'm just the thing that disappoints me is I can't go. You know, I wish that there was like a musical world, and that I could go next weekend. You know, or yeah. you know, that's uh, that's really the only thing that's disappointing. I feel like the the crowd that comes through my studio is more art focused. Like there are people that are really interested in. Art 
art and the people who are interested in music probably weren't going to come see the art anyway. So I, it's really, I, I've heard a lot of other artists feel uh, disgruntled. Um, I don't, I don't feel that way other than I, like I said, but then I also feel disappointed I don't get to see other people's artwork during Right, the and there's too. so much to take in and one weekend it was, it'd be nice if there's almost like mini, <laughs> mini worlds to yeah. to kind of, so you'd have a little bit of time and to take it all in. Northeast is amazing. There is so much. And, and I think that's why it's gotten so big. It's because mm -hmm. there's so many amazing restaurants and bars and venues. And um, and so I really, yeah, I think there should be a like a beer world. And <laughs> yeah, a, and a let's start music that. world. Yeah. I'm down. Um, <laughs> What is your sense of kind of the state of the arts district, the art scene in Northeast right now? Oh, it's, it's, it seems, I'm happy to be part of it. And it seems like it's getting bigger and better. And um, it's, it's great. It's great to be part of a community of artists. And when I say I'm from Northeast Minneapolis, someone asks me where I'm from, they're like, oh, are you an artist? It's really become part of its identity. And I'm glad that I work here and I live here. Anything that you think that could make it make it stronger or make it better for artists like yourself that live in Northeast to really to really thrive or take it to another level? Hmm. No, I'm not. No, I don't, I, I don't think so. I think that uh, Nima's doing an amazing job, and um, yeah, no, I think it's great. Uh, it seems like there's been a lot of press and a lot of people come out. So yeah, just more of more. Right. Yeah. Um, any other artists that you're really inspired by right now, or when people are kind of going out, they you know don't really know what else to look at. Other studios that you think are are, are worth making the trip to as well. Yeah. Um, um. 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 There's a lot of really amazing artists in this building. Patricia Canny. I hope I pronounced her last name right. She has beautiful uh, oil paintings of women's vintage dresses, and she has what she calls orphaned art. So like you can get an amazing small oil painting. Um, I, I don't know how much, but it's very affordable. And um, Donna Bruni is a, a, a abstract landscape painter. She's also in this building. She's down the hall from me, actually. Her work is just gorgeous, and it's there's a lot of price ranges in her work. So those are two artists um, that I would, at least in this building, definitely go right. check out. Well, thank you, Amy, so much. Anything else that you want to add uh, about about your work or about Art of World this weekend? I would say um, go, you know, go see the buildings, but you don't be afraid to like if somebody has their home open and says studio, like to you know go check out that kind of off the the way, and even if they don't have a NEMA sticker, <laughs> you should go. Yeah, because maybe yeah. they will. You know, they're young, and in two or five yeah, years, years, they might they'll, have a studio. They'll like have this. a studio. And they'll pay their dues and they'll you know they'll get it like I didn't get it now I get it like so support, support it all check it all out great thank yeah. you so much Amy yeah. and thank you pumpkin sorry that's you <laughs> no, no I, uh, pumpkin is awesome <laughs> pumpkin. all right